With Godot 4, there is a new 3D material available for us. But at first, I wasn't sure how to use it. So I did some digging, and now I'm sharing it with you. First, I want to give a big thanks to my supporters on Ko-fi for keeping me caffeinated. The standard material is the same as the spatial material from Godot 3. So everything you already know should translate well. The ORM material is almost the same as the standard material, with one difference. Or rather, three key differences. The ORM stands for Occlusion, Roughness, and Metalness, which is representative of a channel packing method where information is packed into the three color channels of one texture. Normally, these would need to be three different texture files instead. This method saves on storage space and texture load times because three texture samples becomes just one in the shader code. Since ORMs are marginally faster and better for storage size, there's hardly a reason not to use them. The only difficulty is that the packed texture needs to be packed properly, so if your preferred software can pack it for you, it's hardly a problem at all. For most material making software, choosing to export for Unreal Engine will export an ORM texture. Sometimes it is called an ARM texture because of the occlusion that makes the O is a shortening for the word ambient occlusion. So some people choose the A and some the O, but they are the same either way. When you're in Godot, other than linking that ORM texture up, everything works the same as before. So enjoy your enhanced material making.